hey there so i am walking to the gym <clears throat> and i just thought i'd come on and share a little process i'm going through right now i uh i live i rent a room in a house in uh in boston and there are people in the other rooms obviously one of them I've become very good friends with, which is really exciting because how often do you get to make good friends as an adult, right? Um, the other ones there are, there are issues with. One, uh, we've had an issue for him for a long time. It's just sort of a, I mean, it's just kind of an ongoing thing. But this other one, there is um, a young man and... He grew up in difficult circumstances, and he's an angry person. Um, but he's a really nice kid. Uh, he just gets angry very easily and, um, and sees things in certain ways that uh, aren't reality. But he's a really good kid, and I've, I've gone, like I, He's, he's so sweet. Like, I mean, he, like, I was crying in the kitchen at one point because of my breakup. And he came in and he talked to me about it and, like, all this stuff. And so he and I have become friends, you know. I, we've gone on walks together. We, I, I bought him a cake for his birthday. Um, he was very excited about that. And, um, you know, we've hung out. We've talked. We, we've, we've, we were friends. Um... And then recently, so the, that kid lives downstairs, and the one with the, the one that we have a problem with, the other one, uh, he lives in the in the room next to him. So, the one we normally have a problem with, uh, what some of the problems are that he makes a mess, and specifically in their bathroom. So, I'm not quite sure if that's been the issue or whatever, but the nice kid. Who gets angry let's call him Jay <laughs> Jay gets very upset when let's see the other guy let's call him V when V does bad things or things that are very rude and disrespectful um, and gross <laughs> really gross um, so the way Jay chooses to get back instead of discussing the problem, is that he chooses to play his music really, 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 really loudly. Like, really loudly. And it's, like, bass-fueled. It's... <laughs> it's loud. And it's loud. <laughs> and he chooses to play it whenever he can to bother V. But he started playing it at, like, 11. 11.30, 12, 12.30 at night. And, you know, at this point, I'm starting a company and I'm trying to get, even if I weren't, right? Like, I'm trying to get some sleep. <laughs> it's not cool. It's not cool. It was, like, the other night it was at 1.30. Um, so, I went down and I asked him to turn it down. He turned it down. I could still hear it. I asked him to turn it down again. He turned it down again. I could still hear it. I asked him to turn it down again and he refused because he'd already turned it down twice. So, <laughs> the past several days, since really since the weekend, he's been playing really loud bass, like just boom, 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 boom kind of music. Like, in, 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 until like one. <laughs> and I am trying to get to sleep. I want to get up at six. I want to get my day done. You know what I mean? Like, I have a lot to do a lot to concentrate on I'm excited about it and you know it's really it's my my ability to think during the day I mean I think I, I think all day long like think think not just like oh la 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 thing like I gotta I gotta write <laughs> write stuff <laughs> and think and uh and that requires like hard energy thoughts right like I need my I need my brain power and my brain power does not like it when I don't get sleep. So I started texting him and I, you know, I, I, I asked him nicely again and again. Um, I explained to him why it was very important for me to get sleep and how, you know, by doing what he's doing, 
he's being very disrespectful and like basically <laughs> impairing my ability to make money and take care of myself, take care of my basics, my needs, my bills, um, my ability to get my company up and running in an efficient and well done way and my future because the sooner I can get this company going, the sooner I can get myself into better circumstances. And so every night that he does this, I was getting like angrier and angrier. Um, until finally, you know, the texts I started sending him were, were like, dude, you know, I thought we were friends. Why are you doing this? And he's like, well, if everybody, I mean, he just got angry. For some reason, at, at, at some point, whatever the problem is, he has generalized it to everybody in the house. And he thinks everybody's against him. I said, what did I do? He hasn't answered that question yet. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, you know, he hasn't answered the question. He's just saying that I'm being disrespectful and like, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I said, look, you know, we, I've kind of gone out of my way to show you I'm your friend. You know, I, I think it's obvious that I care for you. I don't understand why you're doing this. And, uh, and finally, yeah, I gave in, <laughs> I gave in to the anger. I was like, I mean, what was the worst I said in text? I mean, I, I swore, but we're in Boston, so we swear a lot. But it was just like, turn the fucking music down. You're being, no, I didn't even, I didn't call him names. I didn't call him names. Um, anyway, a couple of nights ago, I went down there and I, I was pissed. Like I had been texting him all night long. Like, turn the music down. Why are you doing this? We're friends. Blah, blah, blah. And, um, like, stuff like, like, you know, you're not the fucking king. Is basically what I was writing. <laughs> stuff like that. And, um, but honestly, nothing. I'm not someone who gets really nasty. You know what I mean? It's just like, come on, dude. Um, like, you're being disrespectful and rude. Like, honestly. Like, I don't, I, anyway. I went down there the other night and I knocked on the door probably a little bit louder than I intended to. Like I did notice that my knuckle, <laughs> it was a lot louder than it. Like my, my hand hit the door with more force than I had intended. And uh, he yelled and said, I'm not ready, I'm not gonna talk to you right now. Or whatever it was he said. And I said, he, he was pissed off that I had, he, he was really pissed off that I had uh, knocked on the door so hard. <laughs> that was, that was my big, um, let's just give it, see now this is where, I, what, what I'm getting to. I am dealing with some anger that I don't want to have, but I need to allow to be here, right? But I want to be able to surrender to what's going on and be more understanding and compassionate of this kid for this kid because he hasn't had that in his life he doesn't have unconditional life love anywhere in his life um but he's pissing me off <laughs> he really is um so i knocked on the door he was ticked off ticked off he was yelling because i knocked hard on the door and i said you know he said I was being disrespectful by knocking on the door. I said he was being disrespectful. I yelled. I yelled. I yelled that he was being disrespectful. I mean, honestly, to hear me over the music. But no, I was angry. I yelled. I yelled, like, to, you know, you're being disrespectful. Turn down the music. And we had an exchange. Um, he was pissed. And, you know, some of the things he said to me in, uh, in the texts, too, were like, nobody here cares about me. Nobody here... Like, oh, no, nobody here shows me respect. When other people, when other people respect the night, nightlife, I'll be respectful. And it's just like, okay, that's what we're going with. <laughs> um, and it was when, it was honestly the, the anger that, I, like, going downstairs and saying something to him and knocking hard on the door came after he accused me of being disrespectful. <laughs> James, no, it's not that he likes me and just wants to be more than friends. He's just an angry, angry kid. Um, and he, I mean, he's also what, 15 years younger than me. 
Um, he's just an angry kid. And so he's, um, he had, he accused me of, of being like not a friend and all this stuff. And that's when I got mad. Like I got, I was mad. I was mad. I was mad already, but that's when I went downstairs and, um, I knocked on his door and he yelled at me and I told him to turn the music down and he, I don't even remember what he said back, but he was yelling too. And I just, you know, I, I just said, turn the music down and I started going back up the stairs and he was still yelling and I was just like, you're behaving like a child. Like, and then I said, no, just think about what you're doing. I know you're a good kid. Just think about what you're doing right now. Really think about it. Are you, are you sure? Like, and I was yelling this. I was like, think about what you're doing. I didn't, I didn't go, I didn't elaborate. I was just like, think about what you're doing. You're a good kid. Think about it. And, um, no, he wasn't having it. And so I went back upstairs and he turned the music up. (laughs) Hmm. Right. That's, that's one of those moments where it's just like, okay. And, you know, also at the same time, I'm thinking, um, it's obvious that what he's trying to do is get a charge, right? He's trying to make me angry. And the worst thing I can do is to get angry. So I stewed a bit in my room and then I found my earbuds and I put my earbuds in and I put on some music and I fell asleep and that worked pretty well. Um, yesterday I had kind of a, yesterday and the day before we, we've kind of been texting back and forth and, um, he's just talking about how I'm being, you know, how I need to approach him with respect and I I don't know, like how I, it, and it's just, it kind of blows my mind because like of the amount of respect I showed him up into a certain point, like I did approach you with respect several times, like many, many times I can, I can point at the texts that are very respectful, you know, but in his head, see, this is where it comes in, in his head, I'm wrong because I approached him disrespectfully. Um, whatever, whatever the story is he's telling himself, it's he's being, he's, he's seeing himself as a victim. And, you know, one of the things I feel most like badly about is that, you know, he and I had a good friendship and he would come and he would knock on my door and like want to hang out. And like, you know, I mean, he doesn't, and this is kind of (laughs) like, okay, it's becoming clear. He doesn't have a lot of friends. He doesn't go out and hang out. Um, you know what I mean? Like he, he, he's home often on a Friday night and it's like you're 27 (laughs) you should be out (laughs) um but he comes and he hangs out so it's like okay cool um sorry where was I going with that (laughs) he's 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 seeing enemies everywhere it's a lot of paranoia but at the same time he's doing things purposely to piss me off which so I, <laughs> so I've been thinking a lot. I'm trying to think, like, kind of go through in my head process I've gone through so far, as far as like calming these feelings down. Um, I should have done these lives more when I was getting pissed off. Um, but you know, I was, I was really, I was really tired of it. I was really sick and tired of it. I was like, you know, like I, this is not my drama. This is not my whatever this issue is. I did not cause it, and it, I should not be paying for it you know and I was just I was like I don't want to deal with him I don't know and I I wrote him some text yesterday that was like should I because I oh so to the point where my friend who lives in the house is dog sitting in a different house right so I slept over there two nights in a row uh because I'm just like I can't (laughs) and so I texted him yesterday I hadn't heard anything from him and I was like, so is it okay? You know, have you stopped playing music late at night or, or should I sleep somewhere else t- again tonight? And he texted me back, you should find another place to sleep. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Mm-mm. So I took a deep breath. <laughs> I mean, come on, wouldn't that have pissed you off too? like go find another place to sleep i'm gonna play my music all night long loudly just to piss you off so if you don't want that to happen go place find another place to sleep see there's the anger see it (sighs) we're just gonna relax our shoulders we're gonna unclench 
the belly, which is apparently where I, I put a lot of my stress and my anxiety and my negative clinchy feelings. Or I'm just gonna allow myself to be angry. I'm just gonna observe it. It's fine. It's fine. The anger is there and I'm okay with that. I'm okay that there's anger there. I don't have to do anything about it. It's just there. Um, so I texted him back. I mean, I think the, the, honestly, like the nastiest I get is, as I said, you know, you're, I said, you know, I really thought we were, we were friends, you know, like I showed you all these different ways in which I was your friend. You know, I, I, we went on walks, I, I bought you cake, you know, we, we've hung out together. Like, I don't know why you're throwing this friendship away. Like I, I thought we were friends. And then I, at one point I, I did say, you're not the fucking king of the universe. I did say that. But I don't think that's that bad, right? <laughs> I don't like I call anybody names. It's not like I, I mean, the worst thing I said he's doing is that he's behaving as a child. So I've been pretty proud of my self-restraint, although I am working hard at letting the anger subside and not acting on it and not stewing in it. That's the big deal, right? Like, that's the, that's the key. It's like, okay, the anger's there. I'm not going to pay attention to it. It can be there all at once. It can stay as long as it wants. I'm not going to pay attention. And then those thoughts in my head that come that are making me angrier, like, like hang on. <laughs> and, then I, <laughs> and then he told me not to come home. And I, like, those thoughts. I'm just like, okay, you know what? I'll pay attention to something else. Hey, it's those, those thoughts can go on. They can do what they want. I am going to go look at this thing over here and distract myself with that thing over here. Right? Just let it go. Um, but last night, I went back to where my friend is dog sitting. And we were talking about it because, you know, it is actually a pretty big problem. Because everybody in the house right now is being very toxic um, and hostile. So, you know, we're talking about, like, what we can do about it. And I was just like, you know what? I am going to go there and I am going to, I am going to, every challenge that comes up, I'm going to be grateful for it. I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I am not going to get upset about this. I'm going to see that he's just a kid suffering. Like, yeah, I mean, he needs to grow up. He needs, definitely needs to grow up, but... You know, he's suffering and he can't see that right now. And he can't see everything. He can't see it. He can't see it. He's blind to it, right? So when I went home last night, <laughs> I came in the door and his, his door is like right immediately to the left. And his door was open, which I had never seen him leave the door open before. So I think he was waiting for me to come. And <laughs> I look in and like, I don't... I didn't have it in me to have a conversation. Like I, 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 and I still think that if I were to have a conversation with him, that would be very difficult for me to keep, keep to this resolution, right? Um, but I came in and I looked at him and he looked at me and I said, I really hope you're feeling better. And I went upstairs and he turned the music on. <laughs> it wasn't on until then I got upstairs and uh, 15 years older, that seems like too much. I'm, he's not my boyfriend. He's just this kid who lives in the house that I live in. Um, so, Gen Z drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, I, you know, he, played, he, he turned the music up. And I had, one of the things I texted him earlier, earlier yesterday, too, was like, you know what? You can play your music as loud as you want. It's fine earplugs are a simple thing you're really just doing this to yourself and another thing I told him was like if, if everyone is an enemy you will only have enemies in your life so I put some earbuds in well actually I have an air conditioner and I didn't think the air conditioner was going to drown the music out but it did so I was able to put the air conditioner on and listen to some music and it was okay um I don't know how long he played the music last night because I couldn't hear it which is great so this morning <laughs> this morning uh I get up kind of late not happy about that but I had a couple of um calls I had to make on zoom one is to a woman who I will be interviewing the 17th I want to say 
Um, <clears throat> I don't know, I have to look. And the other was an interview that I had with um, this man named Tor Seppala, who is a Viking. <laughs> we had a really great conversation. But, of course, he started playing his music very loudly. And that's not un uncommon for him to play his music very loudly during the day. And I don't usually bother him about it because it's like, just because I don't want to hear your music doesn't mean he, you shouldn't be able to listen to it, right? So, but it is pretty loud. I mean, he, he blast. It's like he blasts it, like he's like he's in a car. You know what I mean? Like that. That's what it sounds like in the house. Um, so, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything about that. That's fine. And I went into the room that I'm using as an office, um, and I had my. You know, he actually started the music while I was having my first conversation. It's like, okay, well, he doesn't know I'm having a conversation. I think he would do it anyway, but whatever um and then <laughs> for my conversation later on with tour I put a sign on the door that said because I was like if he comes up just in case someone comes over right like I don't want to be interrupted put a sign on the door that said Facebook live in progress and I closed the door and I had the interview towards the end, end of the interview there was a knock at the door <laughs> while this was going on I was like Okay, you know, and it was thankfully at the end of the interview, so I wrapped the interview up, I, um, I opened the door, and he was like, your, your laundry is, has been in the laundry machine for an hour, and it's very disrespectful to the other people in this house. It's like, okay, okay, <laughs> you know, and I kind of did like that, I, I was not calm. But I just like, okay, okay. <laughs> it's what I did, basically. And he walked away before I could say anything. Um, and I went downstairs to get the laundry. And the laundry, the machine that we have is kind of crappy. And it stops at 39 minutes. And it stops at 17 minutes. And the, the thing is, like anybody who's in the kitchen, when it stopped, will just press go. You know what I mean? Press on, make it go again, so that hopefully the person's laundry will be done. My, my laundry was stopped at 39 minutes. So <laughs> that was another example of things that irritated me. And I was like, I was like, I wasn't ready to go. I mean, that's not me, right? <laughs> right? I'm as ready to go as, as I get. <laughs> but I took a deep breath. I waited for my laundry to be done. I took the laundry, I put it outside. Meanwhile, you know, the, the laundry machine's been vacant for however long it's been since then, a couple of hours, has he done his laundry? Um, so, this is a challenge. This is a challenge. Last night I said to myself, I am going to see everything that happens as a challenge and I'm going to use it to become the person that I want to be, right? Like, cause what, what kind of person do I want to be here? Do I want to be the person who loses my shit, right? Do I want to be the person who makes it more uncomfortable? Do I want to be the person who's not understanding that this kid is, is suffering and in pain, you know? Or do I want to be the person who, despite whatever this kid can do, whatever he can dish out or whatever anybody else can dish out, I can still remain calm and see, be compassionate and see that he's suffering and offer him kindness. That's the person I wanna be, right? So that's what I'm working towards. <laughs> because he does not have someone like that in his life. Um, but not just because of that, but I mean, also there's a selfish reason. I wanna be a better person and, um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna use this <laughs> to become a better person. Because if I can like get, <sighs> The thing is like when you're you all know when you're angry like that feeling just comes up and you're like i got to do something to release this energy um and it usually comes out in yelling but i'm not a yeller and um and i wouldn't want to be but like when that energy comes up it's really hard to stand still it's really hard to not get really pissed off and i just i gotta keep reminding myself it's okay that i'm pissed off don't try and push it away don't try and make it into something else. You're pissed off. And you know what? There's a good reason. <laughs> the pissed offness is there. And just I gotta let it, I just gotta let it be there. It's hard with anger though, isn't it? It's hard with anger. Because anger wants you to do something. 
Anger's like, do something now. Do something now, bitch. <laughs> but I am having a conversation with my anger. I'm saying, no, you know what? You can hang out for as long as you want, anger. But I'm going to be over here. <laughs> so that's what I'm working towards. And even if I'm not doing it successfully every time, which I'm not, the more I do it, the better I'll get at it. That's my, that's my little, whatever, this has been a, just, my, like, my words are just totally, totally gone. <gasps> There's an ice cream truck somewhere nearby. There it is. <laughs> I love the sound of an ice cream truck. It makes me want to run and, and follow it. Um, did a smash. Um, no, I, so... I, this is what I'm doing and I'm hoping that anybody else out there who's dealing with like anger or whatever, if issues that they need to get a hold on or they want to get a hold on, it's not about having a hold, right? It's about letting go. So that's what I'm doing. And as I do it, the more I do it, the more I practice, I'll, there'll be a day <laughs> when I'm allowed, I just like relax and let it flow. You know what I mean? And it becomes a natural thing. It becomes, um, okay. Um, it becomes like the automatic thing. That's what I'm looking forward to having that be an automatic thing. But in order to get that, I have to go from here to there and that's not going to be quick or easy. Um, and I just got to work on it. So I hope this has been somewhat useful to anybody out there. Um, or at least somewhat entertaining. Um, that's it. I'm going to go to the gym now uh, because I actually have a lot of work to do and I spent a lot of time doing this. Um, anyway, so I just want to remind you guys. Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> I just want to remind you guys, if I can choose not to be angry at this kid. Sorry, that was an alarm. If I can choose to let go of my anger and to allow myself to feel it and just breathe through it and let the energy go throughout my body. That means that you can choose and you should remember that you can always choose to have a grateful day. <laughs>